ministry of giving food and helping families in our community. And uh, workers have worked hard in that uh, time with the church. And every Friday we have a dedicated group of people that uh, Thursday they gather the food, Friday they serve it, prepare it, serve it. And uh, that ministry is producing so much harvest for God's love to our community. And I don't know, we now have probably reached up in the 120, 130, 140 people come here now looking for support and help in their needs. And I spoke to them Friday, and I'm so glad to see a number of them in this revival. And the two latest I see is Israel and Sarah here. God bless you. And then my brother over here, I noticed you got a tremendous blessing from the Lord. Praise God. Tremendous move of God here this afternoon. And a tremendous move of God. Amen, brother. Amen. Things done far beyond you and I to see. Amen. Understand all that God is doing. I can't, uh, can't wait for tonight. I know some of the brethren with the Tharp spoke once on Thursday night but, with a bomb, but these brethren to feel free tonight to let the Lord use them, help them, and uh, bless them. And I certainly look forward to what God will do for us tonight, what he's going to help us with. Brother Steve, I'm praying for you, your need. God will, God will, and I believe he has, and he will help you. Praise the name of the Lord. Have we had a good day? Yes. You, feel, you feel good about it? Yes. Like the Lord has been here to help us? And I believe Brother Dean's going to be all right. Yes. We're trusting God for that. Marvelous last night, Brother Don Norman got a touch from the Lord. Hallelujah. And it's so good to see that. To tear his hands, able to be in service. Yes. so much for me, the chorus said, I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. For the next year, you've been a great lift yes. to the church today. Surely the Lord sent you and gave you that message. And you can come any time that you get free. I know you're very, very busy. But any time you get free, you can come and I'll just sit back and let you preach the gospel. Amen. 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 And I mean that. We'll do that. Yes, Sister Brenda. It's good to see Sister Darlene and Charlie. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm, an I'm an angel. I was sitting here by her. Yes. I'm an angel. And I, and I <laughs> felt the Lord working on her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all felt that, didn't we? <laughs> you got ahead of me, but thank God you did. That's all right. I'm gonna, I'm, I want to pray for Barry that he can walk again and he can get up and come to the church again. Yes. God bless Brenda. I want to pray for my sister and all of you. We surely will. Yes. Amen. Sister Darlene is not a newcomer to this church. Her husband, I believe right now, went beyond the veil. And I believe we got beyond the veil, there is life after death, physically. And Charles Blunt may be away from us physically, but I believe he's right here with us today. In his spirit, because we have evidence those that are in the heavens that have moved out a live soul that they know 
what is going on down below. That's right. Because they're not dead, they're living, they're sleeping in Jesus, they're resting in Christ. And I believe that dear husband of yours loved this church so much. But he's so elated today to see the Lord bless his dear wife. Amen. And bless her again and again. And my goodness. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Praise the Lord. <laughs> well, all right, we'll praise the Lord again. We'll praise the Lord together. Amen. Amen. There's better than that. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Uh, Brenda, don't you lose that fire in you. Uh, there's dinner in the dining room. And I think they're ready. I believe they are. Yeah. Oh my yes, yeah. Shirley. Oh, yeah. 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 Come on in here and put your feet under this table. Yes. You're welcome to that table, but come on in here and put your feet under this table, and you'll be welcome. Praise God. Sandra? Brother Marlo, I have an electric scooter that was my mom's. I'm giving it away for free. If somebody would like it, they can have it. A what? Electric scooter. You know the electric scooter? Yes, yes. electric scooter. Yes. It was her mother's. Yes. And uh, when we, if you don't find anybody immediately that comes to you, after the service, Sandra has an electric scooter that her mother had. Um, if you don't find anybody, there's always somebody coming up that can use it. And if you want to let um, one of the elders here know uh, that uh, about it, but Langford, that where the Langford is all right here. Uh, that um, the steward sitting beside him, that you how to get it and how to pick it up or whatever, it's delivered. Marla, they have to pick it up before I leave, remember? So when are you leaving? I'm leaving on, I pick up, I bring the truck on Monday, I'm leaving on Tuesday. So two, by Tuesday of this yes. week? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. All right. We have, wow. let's pray for Sister Sandra uh, Campbell here. She's going um, out to Rama um, Bible Institute in uh, Brooklyn, Arrow, Oklahoma um, to study, and she'll be there. Three years, four years? Two years. Two years. <laughs> Two years. Um, and uh, Brother Hagen's work. I knew Brother Hagen's father, and I, Kenneth Hagen, and I know Brother Hagen. And um, Broken Era, I've been there many times in meetings. And uh, so she'll be there in the Bible Institute. This lady has been a, a registered nurse, and um, uh, she's helped an RN. She's on nursing facilities herself, nursing homes. She's a mother. One of her daughters is a doctor. One I know. And one is, there's another one. A lawyer. A lawyer. One's a doctor. One's a lawyer. Um, and she's been very successful in her life with her family and with God. And she loves God. She's been coming with us here for several years. And she has helped to stir up the spirit, yeah. keep the spirit moving. Yeah. And always know Sister Campbell is going to Sandra is going to worship the Lord. Yeah. And when she comes in, she's going to worship the Lord. Yeah. And I I appreciate that. And uh, we're we're going to pray. Well, we're going to pray for her yeah. next to you. She won't be out there continuously. She'll be back to see us. But uh, let's pray for her destiny with God, her work with God, her calling. And uh, she goes into Rhema there. And um, let the Lord bless Rhema with her presence, and Rhema be a blessing to her. Praise God. Dinner is ready, isn't it, brother? It's ready? All right. Uh, why don't, I want all the uh, ones that are a little handicapped.